So this week on Why We're Single, we're, uh, we're heading into E3, so we're doing uh, moments that we remember from E3, uh, big memorable moments. Um, the first one is, uh, this is not like a huge moment, but I remember when the Old Republic was coming out, I was super excited, because I was looking for another MMO to get into, uh, aside from World of Warcraft, and the trailer came out, and it had like uh, the bounty hunter, and he's fighting all the droids on the ship, and somehow he's fighting Jedi, which doesn't even make sense. I don't even know how anyone competes with a Jedi in, in the game in the Star Wars universe, because you just shoot a laser at them, and they block it back at you, and you die. Uh, but it was a badass trailer, the cinematic was amazing. The game maybe didn't live up to the trailer as much, but, uh, but it was still super sweet and it got me really pumped for the game. Alright, so E3, let me tell you, <laughs> this Wire single is going to open up some, some, some old wounds of mine that I, I really don't want to revisit, but for you guys, I will. Uh, a very memorable E3 moment was when Microsoft revealed secretly the Xbox Slim. Nobody knew it was coming, it was just like, hey guys, so here's our Xbox, they had like the 360 there, and he lifted it. They, the guy lifted it, and underneath was the Xbox Slim. It's like, this slip, this Xbox can fit in the old Xbox. Everyone's like, oh my god! And they're like, oh, not only that, it comes out in three months. And we're all like, oh my god! Because we're all getting the red rings of death, we all need a new Xbox anyways. So it's a perfect time for an upgrade. And it was cheap too, so... But wait, it gets better. Everyone in the audience of that presentation got the Slim for f***ing free. You get an Xbox, you get an Xbox, everybody gets Xboxes! Well, guess what? I was supposed to be in that audience. I was supposed to be at the presentation, but I said, no. They're gonna stream it live, I wanna watch the stream and then report on it right afterwards. So I'm in a stuffy office. Just like, oh, look at all this cool stuff. Let's take notes. Let's be responsible and make it in the video game industry. And they give away my Xbox. Ah, that was pretty memorable. The next memorable moment that, uh, that I think we all remember is, is when the Wii U was announced. All right, so we're waiting for the Nintendo's big announcement. They're coming out with a new console. It's been in some of the rumors, and, and you know that, that a new console's coming out, and then it's this thing with a, with a mobile thing that comes with it and stocks plummeted and everyone started crying. <laughs> because, well, what, come on, what is that? And then, but then you got it and it was actually pretty fun and you were like, touche Nintendo for like a second and then they stopped making games and then once again you were like, what the hell are you guys doing? Uh, this thing's not working out. Generally, uh, number one, when you make a console uh, for, for console gamers and you say that you're going to be marketing your console toward more hardcore people and then a mobile portion is brought along into that, uh, that's a red flag. And then usually when you have a console and you're not making any games for it, also a red flag. Uh, but I just remember that moment because literally everyone was like, oh, so excited, so excited, Wii U comes out and... Ugh. Now this, this one's gonna go back in time, E3, where, where uh, E3 was still very new and and, and and not really, people didn't really know what was going on with it, but it's 98, 99, one of those two where they gave out a E3 Pikachu. So it was a Pokemon card game. So it was a Pikachu card, and in the, it was in the corner, it was a little gold E3. And I had, my, my dad actually had gone to E3 that year and, and brought me back this Pikachu card. So I had this Pikachu, I was so excited. But then, Nintendo Power, remember that? Oh, rest in peace, Nintendo Power. In Nintendo Power, you actually, at the back, they gave you an E3 Pikachu card. And so now I had two! But one had red cheeks and one had like yellow cheeks that blended in. So I, I was like, oh man, well the red Pikachu normally has red. This yellow one must be like, like rare. So I'm gonna keep this because it's gonna be a collectible one day. Yeah, I was a smart kid. So I traded away my red cheek, cheeked Pikachu for like whatever few cards or something, nothing even good. And then when I was looking up this story to find like all the great moments, I just saw that that stupid Pikachu card with red cheeks is like $150 and the yellow cheek Pikachu is like a dollar. <laughs> nah! <laughs> this is why I'm single, because I am not that smart. <laughs> and I was like, yes, gotta catch them all. Uh, oh man. <laughs> Man, I was really trying to keep that down. Sorry. <laughs>